Hi, this is Barbara Rosenzweig on a snowy, cold December day. I'm going to share with you a brief tip on how to create the illusion of a stony or rocky beach in eastern Massachusetts on the Atlantic coast. You can see here in this painting that I have the light coming from bottom left up the right. So I want to do the same thing the same idea with my pebbles on the beach. I've already taken dry brush and I'll just do this quickly. I put some pigment on my brush and I'm going to just sideways just streak it along to create this texture which will be the beach. And it uh, is nice that I use 300 pound arches paper because it has a lot of texture to it itself so I can utilize that in the painting. So once I have that then I'm going to look for little shapes that I can figure might be some pebbles. And I'll take my color, this time it's burnt sienna, and I'll go under, this looks like a little open space here, I'll go under and around it to the right and then I'll rinse my brush and then drag it off to the right. And I'll continue doing that randomly because there's absolutely no way that I would want to paint every single pebble on the beach. And I can randomly do that with other colors as well. So here's a nice little shape here. I can get this darker. And the same idea. That was a little wet. We'll see if I can still drag it out. And that shape will kind of emerge. And I could just do that all over. Here's another little shape, a little darker. Rinse off my brush. And then just drag it off to the right. And the shapes start emerging. And you can do it at random places on your paper. And in the, in the front of the paper, the bottom of the paper closest to you, you want to make them much larger than as it goes back in distance to other parts of your paper away from the viewer to create a feeling of distance. Hope you enjoyed this brief little tutorial. Have a great day.